Hi, this is Justice. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the filters in Rebel 4. Now, in order to make this a little bit simpler to see, we are going to hide all the panels. Now, we are looking only at an image of the color wheel. This is not actually the color wheel. But this will help us understand what's going on with the colors when we use the filter property. So we're going to start with brightness, contrast. Let's move this off to the side and adjusting brightness up and down, what we're going to see is the entire image, all of the colors are going brighter and darker and contrast. Here we can affect how muted, how soft the blacks are. So here it's going to be softer and over here the blacks are going to be very black. Everything is going to be very um, contrasted. <laughs> Right, so we can bring both of these to the left and both of these to the right and see how that looks. All right, let's click reset and cancel. And let's go to the next one to hue, saturation and lightness. Now let's look at saturation first. This is going to move the colors, kind of washing the colors out so that they are a little more gray. So you're pulling, washing the color out. We get all the way to the left, we're going to have no color, just grayscale. And to the right, we're making everything even stronger. So it's taking a lot of these areas here that were gray and a mix of gray and blue. And when we increase the saturation, it's going to be taking those gray and converting those gray into that same saturated blue that we see in the upper right corner. And of course, if we move this over here, it's going to do that same thing. It's going to take these gray tones and it's going to convert them into that same very, very saturated purple. This in the upper right corner. Lightness, take everything all the way to a full white or all the way to a full black. And you can vary here in between all of those. Let's reset. And the hue wheel up here. This is going to move these colors around. So anything that we have yellow is going to become red, purple, blue, and it's going to pull those colors around the wheel. So if you have an, if you have an image that has these colors in it, this is going to convert not just the blue, but it's going to convert everything along that color wheel, along the color ring, which I think this looks really cool. Whee! <laughs> okay, let's click reset and cancel. And let's look at color balance. Now color balance has three settings here. So shadows, midtones and highlights. We adjust the highlights here and then we switch to midtones. This is a completely different setting. And you'll see that this has preserved our setting for highlights. Let's go to midtones and shadows. You can see all three of these have retained the settings that we selected. Let's reset that and let's look at what each of these does. You can see we're converting the cyan colors into more red. So you can see the red is disappearing here, and now the red is expanding here. And what you'll notice is that we're affecting the highlights. That would be the top left corner of the color cube or the color square. Now, if we choose midtones, we're going to see this cyan to red is going to affect more of these colors here in the center. Same thing with these other ones. It's affecting this mid area. Let's reset it. So this top area is less affected. This dark area is less affected, just the midtones and highlights the same thing we're going to see up here is affected. Preserve luminosity. This is going to preserve that value. This is a really good way to demonstrate what preserve luminosity does. All right, let's go ahead and click reset and we're going to cancel. And let's look at color filter. A color filter is kind of like a lens that you would put over the top of a camera. 
And so if we want to put a, a red lens over the top of our camera and we take a picture, what you'll see is this tinting happening to everything. Again, just like you had a colored lens over the top of a camera and you were taking a picture, all everything in the picture would have this tint to it. Now you can select here and pick a different tint and adjust the strength. This is a very simple filter, but very powerful. If you want to have a little bit more power here, you can choose Colorize. And this has got a very similar effect here. So we can increase the strength and you're gonna see everything is getting shifted towards the hue that we have selected. And you can quickly go through the full spectrum of color. You can adjust the saturation. So again, that's washing that color towards gray, bringing it to the right. And this is pushing all of those colors towards the upper right hand corner of the color square. And adjust the strength down and just make this very subtle if you would like. All right, and let's go ahead and reset that and click cancel. Let's go over here to desaturate and desaturate is going to give you a grayscale conversion of whatever is selected on the screen. If you want to convert this to grayscale and you want to do it based off of luminosity, you can click here. Or if you want to do it based on average, you can click here. This is going to average the different colors. Uh, luminosity is a little more accurate, but you may prefer the average look. As soon as we start affecting red, green, or blue, this is going to bypass these preset settings, the luminosity and average settings. So notice that when I turn this on or adjust this, the luminosity turns off. So here, red, as I bring it to the left, red is going to become very dark. If I bring it to the right, it's going to be very bright. Same thing with green. Green is right here. And you can see how we can affect these independently and you can preview on and off right here. All right, let's reset that and click cancel. Let's go over here to invert. Invert is going to take the green that's here and the purple that's here and it's going to flip flop them. Purple and green, white to black. So all the colors will invert based off of where they sit on the color wheel. These last two I think are, are really cool. So we are sitting on a canvas and the canvas is white, white-ish. Now if I choose white to alpha, what's going to happen is this little square right here that had something in it is no longer white, it is now transparent. So let's take a look at this with black to alpha and you'll see how this works much simpler. Now everything that was black is now transparent. Now this is pretty cool for a lot of different things. So if you are drawing or painting, this is not just pulling only black, just flat, pure black. This is pulling all of the black pixels that mix into other colors to make them gray. So let me demonstrate this. Let's look here at the canvas visibility. So here, when I turn off the canvas, you can see here, all of this has been pulled out and we see the uh, all of the gray and the black that was in here is gone and we can see through to the transparency grid where the canvas was. I brought in a picture of me from high school. I was younger then, so you may notice a few differences. Here, you can see white to alpha. Now we have this layer behind it and you can see how everything has disappeared and become transparent that had white in it. Let's go ahead and hide this, delete those layers. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the magic wand tool. We're going to choose use alpha and we're going to select the dress. Okay. Now we have fully selected my prom dress. It's not me. If I'm completely honest here. You can see when we've got this selected using alpha, the magic wand tool, we can play around with things like changing the color of a dress or a bird or another object. And you can get a really good transition from one color to the next. 
if you know how to use the, the magic wand, the use alpha, and the coloring tools inside of the filters in Rebel 4. So very powerful, super cool. Uh, all right, you guys, that's it for this video on the filters. If you have questions, put them in the comment section, and I will see you in the next tutorial.